Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this gorgeous sunflower granny square. These sunflower granny squares are so fun to make. You just need your three different colors for your center, your petals, and your leaves. And then of course you can join in whatever color you like. Another great thing about this sunflower granny square is it lays absolutely flat. So if you are looking for a flat sunflower granny square, this is for you. If you want a 3D sunflower granny square, I'll link that one up in the cards. I have another tutorial where your petals stick up and out if you want a 3D version. Version. The finished size of the granny square up until the leaves is 5 and 3 quarter inches or 14.5 centimeters. And after the next row, our joining color, it is 6 and 3 quarters inches or 17 centimeters across. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I'm speaking in this video. To make your sunflower granny square, you will need three different colors of yarn, and you're welcome to add a fourth round in a joining color. I'm using a size 4 worsted weight acrylic from Ice Yarns. I will link this in the description box down below. I'm also using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. the sunflower granny square we're just going to start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. Chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to work into this very first chain we made right on top of that slip knot. So just slide your hook in and we want to make a little u-shape underneath our hook. So holding our tail along with our work and make sure you're up on this nice fat part of your hook to make your u-shape. Grab your yarn, turn your hook and slip stitch to form a ring, holding it open with your finger and thumb. Don't let go of that. And chain two. One and two. If you make really small chains, you can do a chain three. This will count as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the center of that ring, we're going to make 15 double crochets. So there's one, two, three. Well, if you need more room in the center of your ring, just grab your ring and grab your stitches and just pull that ring out. Slide your stitches back. That'll give you a lot more room to work around your ring. And just remember to be working over your tail so we don't have to sew it in later. So pause the video and keep working until you have 15 double crochets into the center of your ring. 15 and 16. Are you enjoying yourself? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun content just like this. Now we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain two to join. That's going to pull that chain up and make your center look nice and tidy. So just slide your hook in to the top of that chain two. Bring your yarn through and slip stitch. And chain two again. One and two. Now this is going to count as our first double crochet. So if you chain really small, you can do a chain three. Wrap your yarn into the very same stitch. So that looks like a little hole down here. That is our first stitch. So into this very first stitch, the same place where we slip stitch to, right in there. Go in, make one more double crochet into the same stitch. Wrap your yarn into the next stitch. We have to pick up this front loop and the back loop. So that is our next stitch. We're going to do two double crochets. One and two. And into the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. 
Now into each stitch all the way around, we're going to do two double crochets into each stitch. So you can pause the video and keep working your way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, our very last stitch is right here. So I'm going to do two double crochets into that very last stitch. One and two, and now we're going to slip stitch again to the top of that chain two, right here along the side, and that's just going to pull it up and make it look nice and tidy. So into the top of the chain two, you want two strands of that chain on the top of your hook, slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the center. To start the petals, we have our join. We want to go into the third stitch after this join. So there is one, two, and three. We want to put our crochet hook into the third stitch after the join. So just slide your hook in, loop of your petal color on your hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, and drop your tail. You can just hold it along the top of your work for a few stitches, and chain two. One, and two. Wrap your yarn twice, and into that very same stitch, we're going to start three treble crochets, but we're not going to finish them. So start your first treble crochet, leaving it on your hook. Start your second treble crochet, leaving those last loops on your hook, and wrap your yarn twice and one more treble crochet, leaving it on your hook. You'll have four loops. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing your work, and slide your hook through all of those loops, and chain two. One, and two. Now we're going to skip a stitch, so skip that next stitch right there. We're going to work in to the second, so wrap your yarn twice into the second stitch, one treble crochet, but leave it on your hook. Wrap your yarn twice, another treble crochet, but leave it on your hook. We're going to do that four times. So here's our third one, starting our treble crochet, but leaving it on our hook. Starting your last treble crochet, and leaving it on your hook. Now we have five loops. This is what it's going to look like for all of our petals. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so that pointy bit is facing the bottom of your stitches, the bottom of those loops, and bring it through and chain two. One and two. Skipping a stitch, so skipping that next one, and into the second stitch right here, we're going to do the same thing, so four treble crochets together. So starting your first treble, leaving it on your hook, starting your second treble, leaving it on your hook, starting your third treble, leaving it on your hook, and starting your fourth treble crochet, leaving it on the hook. So now wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing towards you, and slide your hook through all of those loops, and chain two. One, and two. So you can pause the video and keep working around, doing a four treble crochet together, cluster stitch into the second stitch all the way around. So you'll have 16 of these petals, one into every other stitch, all the way around with a chain two in between. So pause the video and keep working around, and I'll meet you when we get to where we started. When we get back to where we joined, we want to look for that first stitch after the join. So we're going to skip our slip knot and all that. We're going to make our last petal right after that join, right here. So wrap your yarn twice. You can work over that tail, just into that stitch right after the join, and do your last four treble crochet together, cluster stitch, chain two, one and two. Now you can count to make sure you have 16 petals going all the way around, and don't worry if yours looks like a little dish, so does mine. 
and we're going to slip stitch into that first chain after our cluster. So right over here, we're going to slip stitch right over there. Pop your hook into that first chain and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the petals. To start the leaves, you again want to look where we joined. And if you hold your yarn along your work, this here is going to be a corner. And we want to leave three empty spaces and put our hook into the fourth, right over here. So pop your hook in, loop of your leaf color yarn on your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding along the side of your work and chain three. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn twice. We're going to make two treble crochets into that same space, working over our tail a little bit. So there is one treble crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and one more treble crochet into that same space. Just like that. Now drop your tail into the next space, three double crochets. One. two, and three, into the next space, three half double crochets. So wrap your yarn and bring it back, wrap and take off all three loops. That's a half double crochet. I'm going to do three of those into this stitch. There's two and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into this next spot here, we're going to pull that tail and just work over it. We're going to do three treble crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and three more treble crochets into that same corner space, or into that same space. We're going to make it into a corner. So three more treble crochets. There's one, two, and three. So we're turning our flower into a square. So into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, three. Into the next space, three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, we're going to do a corner. So three treble crochets, chain two, and three more treble crochets all into this same space. So there's one, two, three treble crochets, chain two, into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, into the next space, three half double crochets, one, two, and three, into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, 
and three. And into the next space, we're gonna do a corner. Corners are three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets all into the same space. So here's our second treble crochet, our third, chain two, one and two, and into the same corner space, three more treble crochets. One, two, and three. So don't worry if yours is all bent, mine is too. It'll lay flat after our next round. So into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three half double crochets. One, two, and three and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now into the space where we started, we're gonna finish our corner. So three treble crochets. One, two, and three, chain two, one, and two, and we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Right there, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain. We wanna make sure we get two strands on the top of our hook. So slide your hook in, two strands on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the leaves. If you want to keep going and add another row onto your granny square, you'll just go and insert your hook into a corner space, loop of your new yarn on your hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail just holding it along the side of your work, and chain two, one and two. Two double crochets into that same space, one and two, and now in between each set of three stitches all the way along the sides, three double crochets into each, so three double crochets into the next space. And three double crochets into each space along the side. So you can pause the video and three double crochets into each space. All the way along the side, I'll meet you at this corner. Just like that. Now when you get to your corner, we can hold that tail along our work so we can work over it. Just like that. And into this corner space, we're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. So now I can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each space along the side and corners, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. If you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up. When you get back to where we started, three double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. And if you're gonna continue, you can join with a chain one and a single crochet to the top of this chain to join. You'll join with a single crochet. 
one single crochet. And just holding that open, you would do your chain, so chain three, and turn your work. If this is the size you want your granny square to be, or you're finished with this color, chain two, one and two, and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain to join. Just one regular slip stitch. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.